Hey guys, welcome back to Kali J's Kitchen. In today's video, I'll take you guys in the kitchen with me and I'll show you how to prepare this amazing mountain soup and pineapple juice. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notification bell so you guys can always be notified whenever I upload a new video. Go ahead and tell your friends, tell your family members about Kali J's Kitchen and have them subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, it's Kali Kitchen underscore one. And also on Facebook, it's Kali J's Kitchen. So this is my mountain sub, guys. And it is amazing. Look at the color. The color is so nice. And listen, let's just pause a little. Um, this mountain sub is rich in vitamin C. And it tastes so good. Let me just say that. <laughs> and also, guys... This doesn't do well in the hot um, climate. It does it do a little bit better in cooler climates. You know, up in the hills, you will find this amazing mountain sap. So what I did earlier, I went ahead, just cut my mountain sap in two pieces, show you guys the inside. And the mountain sap is from the sour sap family. All right. So the seeds are a little bit bigger than sour sap. And the mountain sap is a little bit smaller. Sometimes, you know, it might come a little bit bigger, but it's just a small one that I'm using. And one mountain sap of this size can give you a lot of juice. So what you can do, you can always go ahead and dilute the mountain sap. You can always go ahead and add another fruit to it, or you can just add some water to it, or you can just even blend up some ginger and add it to it. So for today's recipe though, I'm going to add pineapple, but for the other recipe that I'm going to prepare with the mountain sap, I'm going to add my mangoes and I'm going to add some ginger to it so you guys can see the verse, the how versatile this fruit is and I will tell you about the taste, alright? So just to know guys, it's a little bit slimy, but that is okay, alright? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and strain this. And if you guys know anybody with the mountain sub tree, you can always go ahead and bake them one and try it out. At first, you probably don't like it, but if you continue to just try it out, then you guys will love it, alright? Uh, or you guys can check your farmer's market. I'm not sure if you will get this fruit in the supermarket, but you can always go ahead and check your farmer's market and it's a possibility they might have it there. And remember guys not to throw away the seeds. Go ahead and plant it and that way you will have your own mountain sap tree, all right? So we're just going to go ahead and cut into our pineapples and be sure to always wash your fruits and your vegetables before you consume them, all right? As per usual, I'm not going to remove the skin from my pineapple. We are going to go ahead and blend up everything, all right? Also, because I'm going to upload this video today, I just want to wish my country, Jamaica, happy independence, all right? We are celebrating 60 years today and I'm so blessed to be a part of this amazing country. Um, regardless of our flaws and all of that, we are still one, all right? And I'm so happy that we reached this amazing milestone and we just want to see what's next for Jamaica, all right? So if you're from Jamaica, go ahead and leave the flag in the comment section or if you have ever visited Jamaica before go ahead and leave the flag and let me know what where you stay in Jamaica if you have families in Jamaica go ahead and let me know in the comment section we're going to celebrate today guys all right so I pour all the mountain sap juice in my blender and don't put the container that you juice the mountain sap in the um the sink yet because we're going to use it all right i also added the pineapples as you can see and i added just a small amount of water all right remember you're gonna need to dilute your mountain soap because you will get a, a great amount of juice from your mountain soap all right so we're just gonna blend this for a couple seconds or until the pineapple is blended properly and then we're going to strain and remember you don't want your juice to be too watery guys so be sure to just 
um, be careful when pouring out the water, right? So if you have ever had okra before, guys, this is the same consistency that you will get, all right? So be sure to, to, to strain and you don't need to add any water at any, sorry, any sugar at all, sorry, all right? Because the pineapple is sweet and the mountain sap is sweet. So you don't need to add any sugar at all, but be sure to add a small amount of water, all right? So I'm just going to strain and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. And guys, remember to share. We're on our way to 10K subscribers. And I just want to tell you guys, thanks so much. Um, you guys have been so amazing and you guys have been so supportive and I really appreciate all of you. All right. So in a few minutes, I'm going to show you guys the consistency and then we are going to serve this up. You always want to serve this up ice cold, guys, your guests. I mean, it's summer. You guys can always make this for your guests or for your family. And trust me, they will enjoy it. Or you can even make it, up, make it on a Sunday afternoon and have it with your Sunday dinner. It's just amazing, guys. So remember, guys, you have to just take your time and strain, all right, until everything come together nicely. And again, remember to always taste. It's very important to taste. And I'm sure you guys don't need to add any sugar at all, as I said earlier. All right. So this is it. So in a few minutes, we're going to serve this up and show you guys the final product. All right, guys, so this is the final product of my mountain soap and pineapple juice. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe today. I hope you guys go ahead and subscribe and turn on your post notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys tomorrow for another awesome recipe. Bye, guys. Until tomorrow.